Okay, this is how it look. This is the setup for 2021. And this is how we're gonna roll with it. I got my steel BR600. I got two of those and I also have a steel 200. And this blow will come in handy. If you have, go to a customer property and um, the car is parked too close to the house or they have two cars parked in the garage side by side and you're trying to blow, this works great. The BR600 sometimes is too big to get in between cars or if the car is parked too close to the home. So I would recommend purchasing one of these. Of course, face shield. You really want to invest in one of these. Um, since the pandemic, we've been taking a lot of vitamins, so instead of throwing the bottles away, I just use it for a little work knock. Filters. Got all kind of the stuff in here. So, hand sanitizer. But these little trays come in handy, man. I would also recommend that. Um, we got my shop towels, first aid kit, and all that stuff is there. I got this hat, actually I got this hat from Progreso, Mexico, man. It was like five bucks. Five bucks. I got my um, two magnets I brought from Harbor Freights. These things, they work real well. I never have a problem with, you know, these tools falling off as I'm driving down the road. I have this holder for my gloves. That works real well. Um, I got stuff in here. Pocket your stinker shoe, my gas cans, stuff like that. Oh, uh, I want to talk about, I want to talk about this uh, jack that I brought from Harbor Freights some years ago. Been having it a long time. I know they have different types of jacks out there, but uh, this jack only takes about maybe a minute to set up and it comes in handy. Especially like if you're cutting grass and you, like you run over a rope or something like that, you know, the grass might be high, you might not see the rope or the twine or whatever, and you can stop immediately, man, to fix the problem. So I would recommend always having a jack on your trailer. Absolutely. Don't leave home without it. Also again, this attachment, this hair trimmer. And I also have a um, attachment for chainsaw that's here. I always have that. Something else too that's good to have is a strap, man. Yeah, have a strap. Oh, this, this camera, okay. Yeah, so have a strap handy because in case you get stuck, you know, I have two lawnmowers so I can pull myself out. And another thing that's very important and it's beneficial to have an enclosed trailer, especially since this pandemic. Let me get it out the bag so I can show you guys. But <laughs> some people might think this funny, but this is serious. I have a freaking toilet. And what I do, I'm gonna show you how I set it up. What I do is I take this Home Depot bucket, put a trash liner inside of it, and this bucket goes in here, just like this. It just snaps on, it raises up. Of course I don't have it all the way down, but you know, it snaps on like that. <laughs> hey, during this pandemic, nobody's trying to let you use the bathroom man, inside the home. So, you know, you have a lot of yards to cut, Sometimes you have to go, man, you know? And what I do, I got some Lysol that I pour inside the bag. I pour that inside the bag and sit on the toilet. I only had to use this thing one time, though. So I've been having it for about maybe a year and only had to use it once. But when you need it, you need it. Almost like having a generator. When you need it, you need it. All right. Like I say, still running uh, my Proton commercial, and this is uh, a compact. 
and I use this to get through backyards and stuff with gates and also for a secondary mower. I want to talk about my edging blades. I use two different blades. I use two different blades. I use the standard and I also use a gator. The gator blade is off the chain, period. But be real careful if the yard is damp or wet. I would not recommend using gator because this thing spits out so much um, dirt. When you get close to the customer front door, that dirt will get on the front door of the customer. And if they have, you know, a nice door, which pretty much everybody do, they might, you know, kind of complain about it. So only use the gator if it's dry. But the gator blade, man, around flower beds is off the chain. I love it. I freaking love it. So I have a regular edger. I have the edger attachment here for this one. Edger attachment. I'm using the uh, these grips, man. I'm gonna tell you what. I started using these a year ago, and I have I think it's the version five that came out. I'm gonna put a version five on this one. But uh, these things are a lifesaver on your back. What I did was I kind of modified it a little bit. I drilled a pinhole right here. And I put a pin in there. I put a pin here. Just a regular pin, like a cotter pin. And I put tape on this side. So <clears throat> it won't move too far left or right, you know? So I would kind of recommend just drilling the hole, putting a pin here, putting some tape here. It, it, it's a little loose. I might need to tighten it up, but I have it loose like that so I can walk down this aisle. And uh, that's basically it. That's basically it. I hope everybody uh, do well in 2021. Make some money. Take care of the family. And just enjoy life, man. Alright, y'all have a good day.